All right, got a microphone because, uh, you know, Hurricane Ida. Why, why would it not be raining at my house? Um, so doing a little work on Black Beauty. Uh, told you I got it back. Um, only things that I've got, we've already, the O-ring on the water pump was where the leak was. Um, but you can see there's two catalytic converters sitting there. Uh, I'm going to get my shop to weld those in and uh, at least one of them. The one that's giving trouble. I may go ahead and just get them both done while it's there. Uh, but what are we doing today? I'm fixing to do a, uh, a reveal on a uh, little gift that was given to us from, uh, well, I'll just talk about it here in just a second. But uh, I did get something else kind of cool, so hopefully you can hear me with this. Let's see. There we go. Come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Check. Check this out. Oh yeah. Look redonkulous. Absolutely ridiculous. But you get to do point of view videos now. It's what I see, you see. Hope y'all like it. Let me know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this video from point of view and you can tell me in the comments if you like those better. Alright, let's see how this works out. I hope it works well. Um hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know about these cables, but anyway. Let's see what we got from. This is Bison Gear. You see that? I can't see what you're seeing. Oh no. Alright, anyway. I'm going to just go with it. Because I think you can see what I see. But that is, uh, that is Poland. So this came from a minute. Quite a, quite a little trip. Um, anyway, all right, and shipping really wasn't that bad. Um, once we got the, the shipping done on it, anyway, yes, I still need to clean up more. Get off me. So, let's rip into this thing. It does appear to be what it was supposed to be. All right, all right. Uh, there they are. I knew there would be. Oh, ho, ho, hello. All right. So that is what that table will look like folded down. All right. So what I did to get this measured out, you'll notice. There you go. I made a mark there. I measured it to where it should be hanging level when I get done. It should sit nice and even across. So make a mark there, make a mark in there, and then we're going to remove this uh, so that I can use a, so a six millimeter drill bit. And the six millimeter drill bit is what you're going to use to drill through these pieces for what we're sitting in there. And all they do, these are your release buttons. So press it and inside it releases. I don't know if you can see in there. Anyway, so remove these and so that you can drill. This is what's going to go in the door and I'll show you but that's how the part will catch. Alright, let's see if we can do this thing. So I'm going to move this table in here and out of my way for a moment. Make sure that that is not going to be a critical piece there. Hope it doesn't. So anyway, and drill. There's one. There's two. All right. So what you're going to do there is you're going to take these pieces. It's going to be sticking out this way. So I'm going to need a nut and a washer on both sides. So I'm going to take this off. Hello, dropping everything. All right, come here, you. So, good night. Goes through, and then I take a nut and a washer, and I come through on the back just the same. Let's put the door on here, and then let's try it out. All right. 
I seem to have misplaced that washer and that. Okay. So they go, these go right here. You reach around the back side, snug those up, tightening these two nuts on either side against one another. So once you've done that, now you need to put the mechanism back for the catch. So push this side back through. Snug up the plastic. All you're doing is snugging that up. And then it's going to come down and catch. Boom. Just like that. Except that there's not quite enough length, so I'm going to back these off. Till they'll catch. All right, that one will catch. Just press in and release. So just adjust these until you get them to where you would like. Um, boom, catch, release. Like some fishes, man. Catch and release, right? So anyway. And then once you've gotten it where you like it. Make it snug on both sides. All right, so now my table is on there. So now we're gonna put this door back on and see how we look. All right, so I like it. I mean, now granted this looks, looks cockeyed, right? Because this truck is, one, the tires are down on this side um, and I don't have it 100% leveled. That's not a full three inch on the front. So I'm going to be changing that up. But anyway, uh, I'm going to run a couple of self-tappers here and right here. And uh, well, heck, I'll just do that while you're with me. Come on, let's do it. Um, don't throw everything everywhere. So I'm going to put some self-tappers up top just to... Make it a little more secure. Otherwise, this thing seems pretty solid. So this is looking to be paracord. And on the back side, let's see if we can see in there. It's just a knot holding that in. It goes around, over, and in. This side, you can adjust how far you want your door to come down. So super simple. Take your little slack, push it up. I can't see. Are you seeing this? I'm sorry. All right, push, push your slack through and just work it through this little snake system here. Pull tight, my door. Now, does it work as far as, let's put some weight on this thing. I don't know what you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be cooking, get your little quick boil. Boom. You shouldn't have much more than that on there as far as weight goes. If you're just trying to cook while you're out on your adventures or whatnot so it'll hold two catalytic converters and manifolds for sure you just push that dude up and out of the way it looks awesome now you have a molly panel whatever you want to there do. but anyway as far as the table goes just got a little release another little release that's your table done holds plenty of weight uh i will drop the website right here and how much it would cost even coming from poland approximately uh solid i like the stainless steel seems to be very well made it's a simple design it's not all that expensive you can replace a lot of these parts on your own it came with some extra parts so here's an extra release if yours ever goes bad you've got an extra release you got an extra uh i don't know whatever you call that thing and so you got one more for if any of yours ever break, it happens. 
I'm pretty happy with this table though, guys. Like if you're looking for a table, bison gear, you've done a jam up job. Nice table, sturdy, feels like it's gonna stay there. And you got a molly panel to hang stuff on. So that's, uh, that's pretty solid. So go give those guys over at Bison Gear a look, see what you think. Uh, I'll try to put the exchange rate because again, it is, uh, it is not in US dollars, but I'll try to put the exchange rate for you right here. Um, otherwise, I am very happy with this. So I'm hoping, uh, hoping maybe I'll try some other stuff out from them. But uh, let me know what you thought from the uh, point of view angle um, that is now sitting in your way. If you liked the point of view, if you didn't like point of view, um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of awkward to film it that way, but if it works better for you guys, I will continue to do so. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this door and this table, or this door table, flip down table. What do you call this? It's a flip down rear barn door table. It looks awesome. Whoever gets but beauty next has them a table. So that's solid. So all in all, that table is really easy to install. Um, taking the door off just takes a few minutes. I mean, literally install, taking the door off, putting the, the table onto the door, putting the door back on. 30 minutes tops. I mean, it was a really, really quick install. But uh, otherwise, uh, the table in US dollars, you're looking at about $145. And then shipping is the hindrance here. For coming from Poland to buy FedEx air delivery is somewhere around $95. It's quick. I mean, it was really fast to get to me. So I'm working with uh, Bison Gear to figure out some options for uh, the US purchasing. And to help you guys out, if anybody likes that table over here and wants to get it, get with me. You can comment or you always hit my email up, crutchfootball at yahoo.com. I'm working on a website. I've got a few things in the works uh, for the near future. So we do have some options possibly coming for you on uh, getting accessories and parts and things like that through us. Uh, we're not quite ready for that, but we are working on it. So stay tuned. And uh, anyway... If you like that table, I think the table is extremely well built for the price. Um, I mean, I, I, I just, I like it. <laughs> if you're out camping and you need the extra space and you're going to cook and things like that, it looks like it's in a, uh, a very good option for you in that regard. Uh, so especially once I level the truck up, because right now it's sitting on, it was sitting on the front apron, apron so it was sitting kind of down anyway. But the truck's not fully leveled. I need to go ahead and put the SPC upper control arms on that one and go ahead and knock it on up to the three inch mark on the, that Ibach lift. So we'll get that done and then that table will sit level and uh, cooking on it would be a breeze. So anyway, I like it. I hope you guys do. Hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we'll catch you next time.